I've been doing this for a really long time, so I just know the consistency I like. If that sounds like you, I have to say, from a place of love, with the best intentions, get over yourself. If you have never seen my face before, welcome. My name is Shannon. I am a hairstylist and industry educator out of rural Midwest Illinois. I've been in the field since 2008, and along with being licensed, I also hold an applied science degree in cosmetology. So let's see if I can use all of that to show the difference between consistency and consistency. There are so many variants that come into play when it comes to lightening hair. If you've been with me for a while, you know that most of my content stems from breaking down these variables and understanding how to adjust them to get the best results. Mixing ratio is important for a few different reasons. The first one being is just pure professionalism. Your mix might look great in the back while you're formulating, but then you get two foils into your client and you realize it's too thick or too runny and you have to run back to the dispensary with your tail between your legs to adjust it. That just flat out doesn't look good. It makes your clients question you and it makes you look complacent. Plus, actually measuring just makes you feel more professional. The second reason why mixing the ratio is important and why you should measure your lightener is consistency. And not consistency like viscosity, but consistency as in reliability. You know what you're going to get every time. Most professional lighteners give you a few different mixing ratio options to live in to vary the viscosity to the task at hand while still living within the parameters of the manufacturer's directions, which is always the best idea from a legal standpoint. And the third reason why mixing ratio matters and you should always measure your lightener is because the results really will vary. Adding in too little or too much developer can seriously shift the pH and it can have a huge effect on the active processing time. A thicker consistency may give you a stronger initial lift, but it's going to dry out and stop processing a lot quicker than a looser mixing ratio. I like to look at things in extremes. If I had one bowl of lightener that was mostly powder and just a dash of developer, and it would be super thick, and then I had another bowl of lightener with a whole bunch of developer and just a dash of powder, and it was really runny, they would produce two totally different results. Let's get to some experimenting on some swatches and see this in action. So I'm going to be demoing four completely different mixing ratios. Here we are doing a two to one ratio, so two parts powder and one part developer. You can see that it is very thick, almost paste-like, it's not spreading very well, and it is not able to saturate the hair. This is also more costly to mix on the thicker side because the powder is always usually more than the developer. And you can see the pH is very high. Next we have a 1 to 2 ratio, which is one of the recommended ratios. It is thick but spreadable. It saturates the hair well and leaves a nice creamy coating on the outside. And here is the pH of the 1 to 2 ratio. Now we are doing the 1 to 4 ratio, so a bit more developer. This is outside of the recommended ratios, but look how similar it is. If I weren't measuring, I would totally think that this was fine. So notice that it does saturate the hair well but it doesn't coat the hair very well, which is important too. And here's the pH of the one to four ratio. And lastly, the one to eight ratio, which is pretty much just developer. <laughs> very liquidy, but not totally unfamiliar. I might end up with something like this if I just kind of eyeballed it and probably would have thought it was totally fine. And here is the pH. And let's compare this pH with the first one. So here you can see a huge difference in the pH with the mostly powder compared to the mostly developer. And each number is 10 times stronger than the previous. So even if it's just a two number jump, that means that the higher number is 100 times more alkaline than the other because it would be 10 times 10. And in case you were ever curious, the pH of developer is always pretty acidic, so I decided to go ahead and test my 40 volume while it was sitting here in front of me.
And here is a side by side. You can see what I mean by having a good balance of being saturated and coated. The one to two obviously does it best, the one to two ratio. So here's our halfway check-in to see the progress. This lightener process is for 50 minutes, so this is the 25 minute mark. I can barely even scrape off the two to one ratio. It's like pretty much cemented on. Here is the one to two ratio, looking good. The one to four is not making as much progress and the one to eight is making hardly any headway. And here's everything all done. They processed for the full 50 minutes. As you can see, the one to two ratio lifted the highest. Here I am just moving my light around so you can see that the other swatches aren't just like in the shadows or something, but they actually are darker. And here is everything rinsed and dried. Once again, moving my light around so you can get a good look at all of them. I hope this video was enlightening. Definitely try out the experiment for yourself with your lightener and see what the differences are for you. And I hope this encourages you to head down to your beauty supply, pick up a scale, and start measuring if you're not already. Congratulations, you made it all the way to the end of the video. To celebrate, I will, as always, share a little fact about myself. Actually, just kidding. I want to ask you guys a question this time. I get comments on my age so often, so I'm curious to know if I was just walking down the street or you met me out in real life, how old would you guess I am just from that first initial right off the bat? And then I also want to know, given everything you know about these little tidbits I share at the end of my videos about my career and my family and all that stuff, how old do you actually think I am? And an extra congratulations to Red Spirit 17. They won the comment shout out this time around. I love seeing the regular names that I recognize through my comment section. And I love it when you guys make me laugh. That is all the fun I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed and we'll chat later. Bye.